Bonjour, ça va bien? Et bienvenue à la classe. So welcome to lesson today. We're at the second lesson of boire et manger. Alors, pour commencer, écrivez le titre boire et manger et souligner. So write down the title, please, boire um, and um, boire et manger and underline. So remember, it's to eat and to drink and underline that. Alors, pour commencer, um, so your starter task today is we've got two lovely verbs that we, we need to write down in our book. So, boire, to drink, and prendre, to take. So remember, we started looking at eating and drinking last week, our vocab for food. So these are two essential verbs that we need to describe what we eat and what we drink. Okay, so I um, want you to write them down, please, and also write the English, okay? I'm going to go through the pronunciation. You can listen. Tu peux écouter et répéter. Je bois, tu bois, il, elle, on boit. Nous pouvons, vous pouvez, and il, elle, boivent. So that's I drink, you drink, he, she drinks, one drinks, we drink, you plural drink, and they drink. Now, please notice that boire is irregular, okay? It doesn't behave the way a regular RE verb behaves, okay? So it, if I was doing this, writing this verb, what I would be doing is with my highlighter, I would be highlighting all the things that are really weird about this verb, okay? So for example, bouvant, so you see here it changes, it changes its its stem. It goes bouvant, uv, bouvet, uv, and then it goes back. It goes a little bit normal, but it has this naughty v in it again, okay? So please with your highlighter, highlight all of those things because they're really important for your learning. Alors, Prendre, tu take. Je prends, tu prends, il, elle, on prend. Nous prenons, vous prenez, and il, elle prend. Okay? So that translates as I take, you take, he, she, one takes, we take, you plural take, and they take. Okay? So again, in with my highlighter, I would highlight the things that this verb does that's quite weird. Okay? So notice that the nous, prenons, there's an N here, but we've no D. And vous prenez, again, we have an N and no D. And then in the plural, it's double N. Okay, so there are the really weird things about this verb, this verb, so highlight those again. Alors, and the challenge you see is to, can you write any sentence with, um, uh, with something that you can drink using je prends or je bois? Okay, so remember last week we did, I um, I drink a Coca-Cola when it's hot. Can you remember how to write down that sentence? That would be such a good sentence. So you can pause, please, while you complete the rest of that task. Okay, merci beaucoup. Alors, on va continuer avec les objectifs pour... Uh, la classe aujourd'hui. So we've already looked at food, we've looked at how to say some in French, we revised our present tense and today we're going to be looking at the near future tense. Alors, le futur proche. So how do we write this in English? I've already given you a hint. And how do you think that you write it in French? Okay, so le, le futur proche, I want you to write the title please, grammar. And the title is Le Futur Proche, which is called Near Future Tense. Okay, so please make sure you've got all of that as your grammar title, Le Futur Proche, Near Future Tense. Okay, all of this section, grammar section, is going to be in our little grammar cloud. So we need our highlighter out. So let's look at the explanation. So the near future is used to express when we are going to do something, okay? And I want you with your highlighter or your pen to underline going to do. That's the key word here. It's not a simple future tense. It's not like I will, it's going to do, okay? So think of an action. I always think of like an action man. He's going to do something. He's about to do it. So you will know that it's the near future if there is the present tense of the verb aller, to go, followed by an infinitive, okay? So let's look at that in a little bit more detail. So first of all, what's the present tense of the verb aller? Can you remember what the present tense of the verb aller is? Alors, 
So it's, je vais, tu vas, il, elle, on va, nous allons, vous allez, il, elle, vont. Okay? So if you need to remind yourself about that, please write that in your book. Okay? Nice and clear. Je vais, tu vas, il, elle, on va, nous allons, vous allez, il, elle, vont. So I go, you go, he, she goes, we go, you plural go, and they go. Alors, um, can you say uh, she is going to eat fruit? Okay, so now that you know it's the present tense of aller and you know that it's the infinitive. So remember the infinitive would be the verb to eat. Okay, and they are going to drink water. So can you see if you can translate those? Don't spend longer than uh, an extra two minutes on the challenge task, though. Okay, pause the video if, you, if you're writing down the verb and you need to finish that. Alors, on va continuer avec le futur proche. Okay, so the secret formula here is, and I want you to please write down this formula in your book and highlight it. It's the subject plus the present tense of aller plus the infinitive, okay? So in English, that would be I is your subject, I'm going is your aller, and then to eat is your infinitive, okay? Because in English, all of our infinitives begin with to. To eat, to sleep, to talk, to listen, to do, to run, to be, etc. Okay, that's all of our infinitives. So how do we say I'm going to eat in French? That's je vais manger. Okay, you need to write all of these examples now in your book, please, really clearly. Je vais manger, I am going to drink. Je vais boire, what would that be? Je vais boire. Well done, I am going to drink. And then if we want to say, um, I'm going to take, would be, je vais prendre. C'est très bien, okay? So these were the verbs that we had in the challenge task in the previous slide. So please write those down in your book. Et en français et en anglais, in French and in English. Okay, uh, now let's look at some more examples. So, je vais trouver, I'm going to find. Tu vas manger, you are going to eat. On va prendre, we are going to take. So in French, um, in French we say on, which literally means one, okay? So it's like the Queen's English, one is going to take. But when we translate it into English, we say we are going to take. That's a little bit tricky, but once you know it, you'll get the hang of it. Vous allez regarder, you are going to watch. You're writing these down in your book, please. Nous allons boire, we are going to drink. Et ils vont sortir, they are going, they are going to go out. Okay, that's a super tricky one, okay, because sortir means to go out. And then present tense of aller is going is going to they are going to go out okay so remember that because that's a trick verb that comes up a lot in exams okay so please write these down in your book if i was doing it i would probably be color coding everything like this as well i'd have my formula on the top my subject which is in blue my present tense of aller did you notice that is je vais tu vas il elle on va nous allons Oh, nous allons, vous allez, ils, elles vont. Okay, it's a little bit higgledy-piggledy there. Let's see, can I do this now super quick while we're on? Okay, so that we can have it in the correct order because I don't like when these verbs are not in the correct order. Alors, c'est ça? Je vais, tu vas, il, elle, on va, nous allons, vous allez, and ils vont. Okay, parfait. That's now in the correct order for you to write down the English and the French. Okay, so pause the video while you're doing that task. Alors, maintenant, uh, what are the infinitives? Okay, so can you remember now what are the infinitives? Write them down in your book. Pause while you do this task. Okay, so let's run through the uh, examples, the answers rather. So the infinitives, what are the verb families? We've got the ER verb family. So we know acheter, 
To buy, that's an infinitive. Oh, here's another one here, mon cher. To eat, another infinitive. What else? We know we've got our R E verb family, boire, to drink. That's another one. And prendre, to take. That's the other one. Okay, how did you get on with that? Alors, maintenant, copier et trouve les, ex les expressions qui co correspondent. So your next task is, I'm going to read out this text to you and I want you to uh, listen, écouter et lire. So I want you to listen and read along with me. Now, what is it that you need to be listening for? You need to be finding the expressions in the text and writing them down in your book, okay? So you're looking for in the morning, for breakfast, I drink at midday, for lunch, I eat after school, in the evening, for dinner, okay? So listen out for those and write them in your book. So you write them in French and in English, okay? So remember, this is like your vocab list. Alors, je vais commencer. Huit heures. Le matin, au petit déjeuner, je mange une ou du tartin et je bois du jus d'orange. Le week-end, je mange des céréales avec du lait. Puis, à midi, pour le, pour le déjeuner, je mange de la viande ou du poison avec des frites ou, du, ou des pâtés. Je mange aussi du fromage et je bois du lait. Au goûter, après le collège, je prends une banane ou une pomme et je bois un coca. Le soir, au dîner, on mange de la soupe, des œufs ou de la salade et un yaourt ou un fruit. Okay, so pause, please, while you look, find those expressions in the text. Alors, on va continuer. Le matin is in the morning. Au petit déjeuner is for breakfast. Je bois is I drink. À midi, à, at midday. Pour le déjeuner is for lunch. Okay, so remember the breakfast is petit, which is little lunch in French. I love that. Je mange, I eat. Après le collège, which is after school. So le collège is a little bit of a false friend, a faux ami, we say, because we might think that le collège is college, but remember le collège is school in French. Le soir, in the evening, and au dîner, so for dinner. Okay, now take note that it, we have some different prepositions there. So we have au dîner, for dinner, we have au petit déjeuner, which is for breakfast, but we have pour le déjeuner, so for lunch, okay? So please write those down and there's an extra challenge task. You can translate the text as well. Alors, now what I want you to do next is I want you to spot which verbs are in the near future tense, okay? So just write down in your book the verbs that are in the near future tense, okay? And pause, please, while you do this task. Just to tell you that Ilias sank, there are five, five examples in the text. Alors, on va corriger. So the first one, je vais, je vais acheter. Uh, I am going to buy. Lucy va acheter, she is going to buy. Uh, mes parents vont acheter, so my parents are going to buy. Et uh, mes copains et moi allons manger, we are going to eat. Alors, ah, et je vais boire, I am going to drink. Alors c'est très bien, combien de points est-ce que tu as? So how many points did you get on that task, please? Can you write down your score out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Okay, 5 points. Bon, um, if you didn't already, can you just go and translate the text? So pause the video while you do that task. Alors. Et pour finir, um, can you write two sentences, please? Say what you are going to buy for a party. Okay, so remember your vocab from uh, lesson one. 
what is it that you are going to buy and use connectives to join your sentences. OK, so don't just say one thing. I'm going to buy some fruit. OK, so I'm going to buy. Um, remember, you're using your partitive, you're using some. So I'm going to buy some Coca-Cola and some pizza and some chocolate and some crisps etc okay and what are your friends going to buy okay so for this you're using the third person plural okay so what are they going to buy bon um that's the end of the lesson say tu pour aujourd'hui well done guys that was really brilliant and i want you to upload your work from today's lesson for your teacher alors merci beaucoup et au revoir à bientôt see you soon <laughs>